rise. Court is now in session. The Honorable Shirley Matthews presiding. Your Honor, calling people versus James Crumbly, case number 22279989FH. Uh, Mr. Crumbly, can you hear us? Yes, I can. Thank you. Are you uh, ready for the jury? Yes, Your Honor. Yes, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you've worked very hard. We've all been awaiting your decision. I know this was a very intense decision for you all to make. Uh, I believe you've selected a four-person. Who's the four-person? You're the four-person. Could you read the verdict? Count one, involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin. Count two, involuntary manslaughter as to Tate Muir. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Tate Muir. Count three, involuntary manslaughter as to Hannah St. Juliana. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Hannah St. Juliana. Count four, involuntary manslaughter as to Justin Schilling. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Justin Schilling. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I know how hard this has been on all of you just by reading your face. Uh, I, I know this has been a very hard decision. All rise for the jury. Count one, involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin. Count two, involuntary manslaughter as to Tate Muir. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Tate Muir. Count three, involuntary manslaughter as to Hannah St. Juliana. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Hannah St. Juliana. Count four, involuntary manslaughter as to Justin Schilling. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Justin Schilling. Count one, involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin. Guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Madison Baldwin. 
count two, involuntary manslaughter as to Tate Mir, guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Tate Mir. Count three, involuntary manslaughter as to Hanna St. Juliana, guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Hanna St. Juliana. Count four, involuntary manslaughter as to Justin Schilling, guilty of involuntary manslaughter as to Justin Schilling. Thank you. Is that, is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number eight, what's that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number nine, what's that and is that your verdict? <coughs> it is. Jury in seat number 11, what's that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number 12, what's that and is that your verdict? Yes, it is. Jury in seat number 13, what's that and is that your verdict? It is. Jury in seat number 14, what's that and is that your verdict? It is. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. I know how hard this has been on all of you just by reading your face. They're standing here with me today, and I invite them to make remarks. This verdict does not bring back their children, but it does mark a moment of accountability and will hopefully be another step to address and end and prevent gun violence. These were egregious facts in this case. These parents could have prevented this tragedy it was foreseeable with just the smallest of efforts. They could have prevented this shooting and saved these kids' lives and protected the hundreds of kids in the school that day. I refuse to take a victory lap with these prosecutions. It will not bring back these kids. We have a lot more work to do. No parent should go through the hell we're going through. And lastly, um, you know, we've, we've taken care of three legs of November 30th. And there's still a fourth leg, and that's the school. And it's time for the school to pony up. It's time to break up that administration country club. And it's time for change. Because we've got four kids here dead. And nobody wants to take any accountability. I, I, I can never imagine being here, and I don't ever want anybody else to have to be here like this. This is a very difficult thing to go through. Yeah, we have a verdict now. We have a guilty verdict for both parents. We have crossed those three lines of getting accountability on that end. We need to start focusing on the school, the school and its failures, the things that they don't want to admit to. That's going to be our next plan for change. We have maintained since November 30th of 2021 that James was not aware that his son could or would harm anyone or that he had obtained the means to do so. Obviously, James feels terrible about what happened to Hannah St. Juliana, Madison Baldwin, Justin Schilling, and Tate Muir, and the countless others that were affected by the shooting at Oxford High School. While we are disappointed with the verdict, we know that the jury had a very difficult task in front of them.